Hey guys, what's up? This is JRP77 from JG and Giz, and I'm going to be doing a tutorial on the Hard Ops um, add-on for Blender. So if you guys haven't seen it, it's an add-on by Master Zeon 1001 I did, I recently did a video on showcasing what the modifier could do, and I made a, um, a basic crate, and he looked really cool. So in this one, I am actually going to be showing you guys how to use it and how to get a few basic effects. One of the things that I've noticed through learning this is once I got the basic idea down, it was very easy to learn everything else. Everything else came very naturally. So he's got documentation on this add-on. I am going to leave a link in the description to his documentation um, so that you guys could follow along. The only thing I don't like about his documentation is that it's GIFs and that all of his GIFs are done really fast. So the key codes are a lot, but once you get the basic idea down, you should be able to understand what he's doing. So in this tutorial, I'm just going to go through the basic menus because everything else is super easy. Alrighty, so let's just go ahead and get started. To start off, you have two different modes with this modifier. If you hit Shift Q, that gives you a radio modifier. And if you hit Q, that gives you the normal mo um, menu. So sometimes I use Shift Q if I'm going for something quick or if I'm using a pen and touch tablet. But most of the and then when I'm using a mouse, most of the time I just use Q. Alrighty. So let's go ahead and let's just do something simple with this. You'll notice that there's some interesting options with this. We have sharpen, we have thick, and then we've got operation, which is just sharpen and thick again, sharpen, different types of sharpens. S sharpen is more like sharp edges, C sharpen is more like how should I say it? Bevel. Alright, so let's just show sharpen. So if I hit sharpen, you'll see that gives us a bevel. And that's really all that one does. And you can see you've got some modifiers down here that you can play around with. You can actually solidify your mesh. And I'm going to hit command Z because I accidentally messed mine up. Um, I had a subdivision service. Alright, so now that we've got this, we are going to hit Q with. And now you'll see we can start to affect our bevel. We can go all, all the way to a cube, but for most things you would probably want to use something about like that. Maybe a little bit less if you're using a sharper object, but remember everything has a bevel so it's always good to have one. And then you can just hit sharpen again, and then that will give you some more sharp edges. Alright, so let's go to the operations. You have step. I'm still not sure what step does, but that's a really cool one. I've seen some pictures of what he does. Then you have insert, and I'm going to get into that with edit mode because I find it much more effective with edit mode than I do object mode itself. All right, so that's the object mode settings. Let's go to edit mode. So you'll see we've got these sharp edges right here. I'm going to click Q, and I'm going to make this S sharp just to make sure we got those sharp edges. I'm going to hit tab again, and rather than hitting Q, I'm going to select, deselect all of them. And I'm going to select this top face, and I'm going to hit Q, Mesh Tools, and now you'll see we have all of these. I didn't go into those with the object mode, but they're pretty much the same. So we got circle, and we got this, we got great, neural, paneling, unwrapping. Unwrapping is a really good feature, but for this one, we're just going to start with circle. Now you'll see sometimes it gives you an error, and I haven't been able to figure out how to fix that error, so I'm just going to stay with, stick with this. I'm going to go to circle inth and you'll see that that also does about the same thing. So I think there's something that I'm doing wrong with this. Um, if you guys know this modifier, then go, um, can you leave a comment below on what those two do? Um, great is really cool and I use great all the time because it allows you to do really cool stuff, especially that where you can do edges like that. Really cool. I'm just going to drag that back up and get back to a normal face. Uh, and then you have Neural. Neural gives you one single point out of a face. So that's a really cool one. Alright. And then you've got Paneling. Now this is the thing I really want to go over. Because all these things you can do, but Paneling is mainly this, I don't know, idea behind it. The Paneling is the biggest feature that I think about it. I'm going to click Panel Face and you'll instantly see that we have this panel that comes up around the object but the problem is is that it's going outside of the object so I'm going to hit tab and I'm going to undo that and I'm going to hit I and I'm going to move it inside about like that I'm going to hit Q mesh tools panel face now you see that that's why people use it so much is because it allows you to get really quick things like that if I go into face select and I select this top face and I just scale this down and I can move this one over 
on the Y bar right there. Make Q mesh tools panel face. I mean, I've already got something really cool. That's basically paneling with faces. Edges are a bit more different. I'm going to create a loop cut real quick by hitting Control R. And I'm going to just do a simple loop cut right here. I'm going to select this one and I'm going to hit Q, Mesh Tools, Edge. And you'll see that that puts us all line right there. So that's good for more complex shapes. Um, Yeah. So let's look at the insert because that's the second big thing. That allows you to place um, objects on vertices, which is really nice. Rather than using the 3D cursor, you can actually use the vertice to, so, to place an object. So I'm going to click on this and I'm going to hit Q and I'm going to knurl this just so I have the vertice right there. And I'm going to go to insert. Now you can see you can add a standard object down here, but I'm not going to do that. I'm going to click on this right here, this, this thing right here, and you'll see this whole menu pops up of all these different things he has made. These are all screws, you can use these all for a game. Um, so if you've bought the add-on, you have rights to these. So I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna add a bolt. I like this one, so I'm gonna use face. Yep. For some reason, it only likes faces. So I've accidentally did vertices, and that's my bad. You can also see that I'm raising this panel up. You can do that, which was really cool. It gives it that nice soft edge. But you can see right here that I can move this all the way down, and we got some really cool bolts. That's really all there is to the Hard Ops mod add-on. Um, if you guys like this, don't forget to go buy it. It's $15. Um, it's a really cool add-on. I highly suggest you guys go get it. I'm going to be using that in our game and several things to come. Highly suggested. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you guys next time.